Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to a video that is kind of old, but I've seen resurface so much lately. I've been tagged in so many different videos from so many different creators reacting to this specific video, and I've not watched any of them because I wanted my reaction to be my own um, and not necessarily be swayed by anybody else, but I've seen this on TikTok a bunch. I've seen it on YouTube. It's by Matthew Hussey, Get the Guy, and it says, who pays on a first date? So. Let's get into it. Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, yeah, let's hear from you. Um, during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point when you already uh, at what point when you already been dating for four or five months right yeah <laughs> <laughs> look okay uh to, to give you a quick answer on firstly i think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with who when you're on a date who should pay yeah. <laughs> i know i mean that's what i told them you know i'm sorry but, i say i'm dating i'm dating we're dating you but know, here's the here, okay, to he's supposed to pay. Yeah, that's you're what I told I, But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Makes a good point. What's, where, where, what, but what's the, where does this double standard come from? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the reality. You guys can, you can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, Red flag. you weren't taught right. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. <laughs> I, I wanna stop it there because I have said this so many times on my channel, it's about the way that you approach it, right? If you go into something entitled, you have this princess mentality, you have an attitude that he has to pay for me 100% of the time, well then what do you have to do for him? That sets it up where you're always constantly expecting each other to do something or another, which I mean, you can argue that relationships are transactional sometimes in that way, but how would you feel if you went on a date with a guy and because he paid for you, he said, well, now you have to sleep with me. As a woman, you're like, oh, no, 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 that's not how that works. Well, I know it's a little bit, it's a little bit different and it's hard to compare, but that's about as close as it gets to comparing it equally on each side of the equation, right? You're going into it acting like you're entitled to something. You're not. I hate to break it to you, that's not the way the world works. You're not entitled to someone paying for your time, unless you're at a job or something, and that's the way that it's set up, right? But, you know, first dates and getting to know someone are a little bit different than a job. Now, again, I mentioned, it's the way that you go about it. Do I think it's the gentlemanly thing to do to pay on the first date? Yes, I do. I think you come across as a gentleman, chivalrous, kind, respectful, when you pay for the first date, at least just the first date. But in return, the girl that you're with should at least offer and be gracious and say thank you. I had a guy friend one time tell me that he had taken this girl out on four dates, paid for all of it, all four times. She did not say thank you a single time. I said, you should not have taken her out for a second date if she didn't say thank you. Because the way that people react and respond to things says everything about them. And the fact that she didn't say thank you shows that she thought she was entitled to that and she wasn't gracious. And that's how you get used for free meals when people aren't appreciative. Yikes, so yeah, it is the way that you go about it. It's the attitude behind it. And <laughs> I don't know, the whole thing is just so silly to me. This girl saying after four to five months, she hasn't paid for anything. Whoa, that's crazy to me. I always, from the first date, always offered to pay. Even if they kept saying no, I always offered, was always gracious, a million thank yous, because I'm grateful if someone's paying for me. 
Money doesn't just fall off of trees, you gotta work for it. And when someone is willing to spend their hard earned money on you, that's a nice thing. And I think we need to like mutually respect each other instead of just expecting one person to bring everything to the table while you bring nothing. This gets me all fired up because I just can't stand the princess mentality entitled behavior from either side. If a man acted like that too, I would be equally as grossed out. Ugh. I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever gonna be. Yeah. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? It's gonna get worse. That's what it says about your future. Sure. But I, I look, I, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would, I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is, right? Or if you both agree to go on holiday and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I'll contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's mm -hmm. when he feels used. Because yeah. any guy who's really confident and self-respecting if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. And it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lack of gesture. So I would be looking at, if you like this guy, maybe if you're in different positions, figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend. I love the way that he explained this and I think it's really beneficial for women to hear it explained in this way, um, especially when there are so many people online just saying that men should pay for everything all of the time or that it should always be 50-50 necessarily. It depends so much on you and the dynamic that you have with the person that you're seeing. If you don't have a job and your boyfriend is a millionaire, he probably shouldn't expect you to contribute as much as he does financially. Maybe you contribute in other ways. It's like when you're a stay-at-home mom. You have to stay home with the kids. Your job is to take care of the house and the kids and make sure that everything is running at home. Your job is home. You still play a role. You play a huge role. It just looks different than your husband whose role is bringing in the financials and working all the time, right? You still play a role, but there has to be a balance there and you have to go in knowing what your role is and define that so that no one feels resentful or confused. Because as a woman, I can say this, if I didn't have a job, say I lost my job and my boyfriend was a millionaire, I would be so upset if he expected me to contribute 50-50, even though he's making all the money and I'm making nothing. Like that just doesn't make any sense. And when you care about someone, when you're a team, you help each other out. It's not always about what can you do for me? It's what can I also do for you? because this is a two-way street and a mutually beneficial relationship that we should both be feeling respected and deserving of, right? It's not all, what can you do for me? And if you go into something with that mindset, you have a bad attitude and you're not ready for a relationship because it's not all about you. The world doesn't revolve around you and you gotta bring something to the equation as well. You can't just be dead weight being pulled around all the time. That's not the way the world works. So I thought that he did a really great job at explaining this. And as someone who gives advice to men, 
I see this conversation all the time in my comment sections. I had this conversation with my guy friends who, you know, don't mind paying for the first date, but they're 10 dates in and the girl hasn't even said thank you. And they're like, what the heck? And I'm like, that is a red flag you should have seen from the beginning. So again, watch how people respond and react to the things that you do for them. Actions speak louder than words. If you're paying for a girl all the time and she's not even saying thank you, or you don't feel like you're being appreciated at all, why are you seeing her? You're wasting your time. And I'll just give a personal example here. When I was in college, I was a server. I was paying my way through college. I had to pay off all my student loans. I didn't have any help with college. I paid for it all myself. I was a server and I started dating my now fiance my senior year. And he had a big boy job. Like he was making fine money, um, way more than I was making obviously. And he always paid. On the first date he paid, I offered to pay. He obviously wouldn't accept it and paid for the first couple dates. And then after the first few dates, he let me contribute what I could contribute. So maybe we would go out to dinner and then afterwards we would go out for dessert or ice cream or something and I would buy it. Or we would go out for coffee the next morning and I would buy coffee and breakfast. Like it's a give and a take. You gotta put something in to get something out of it, right? And even though I couldn't necessarily take us out to really nice dinners, I couldn't afford that. I contributed what I could and I know he was appreciative of that, obviously. So I don't know, I just don't love the entitled princess behavior that I see so commonly online these days and just expecting people to do things for you and buy things for you and fly you out and pay for your luxury handbags. Like it's getting crazy on TikTok guys. Even on here I'm like, whew, let's all come back down to earth, be a little bit realistic here crazy. And again, defining your role within your relationship, I think is really beneficial. And I don't mean to say that as like, you have your roles and I have my roles and we can never do each, like sometimes you got to overlap a little, you got to clean up for each other a little bit. Maybe you and your partner make the same exact amount so you can contribute 50, 50 and that works for you. Some people want that. Some people don't, but making sure you're on the same page, you and your partner have values, morals, ideas about life that align. You have an co open conversation about it and communicate about it. There will be no issues. Just have an open conversation and be able to express what you need and what you want out of your relationship. And I hope that you're realistic about that. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this. Um, I've seen a lot of videos posted with the title Man Humbles Room Full of Women and I can kind of understand why after watching it. Um, but let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. Love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. And if you ever have any TikToks or YouTube videos that you want me to react to, you can feel free to send them my way or tag me in them, DM me on Instagram, whatever's easiest for you. I love getting feedback from all of you guys and finding things that you guys want my opinion on and my advice on. So as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.